Welcome to the Allegheny County Library System video instruction series, Introduction to Microsoft Word 2010. Lesson 1, The Ribbon and Tabs. Microsoft Word 2010 is a word processing program designed to help you create professional quality documents. With the finest document formatting tools, Word helps you organize and write your documents more efficiently. Word also includes powerful editing and revising tools so that you can collaborate with others easily. Microsoft Word 2010 still contains the ribbon, which runs from the left side over to the right, with at least eight tabs including the file tab which offers backstage view by clicking on file you can see this is what's called backstage view and we'll cover this a little bit more in depth at a later time I'm going to click on the home button the home tab as you can see there are the eight tabs of the file that we just looked at, the home tab. Each of the tabs on the ribbon are broken into different segments. You can see that there's a line dividing the clipboard segment from the font segment, and then there's the paragraph segment, and so on. The home tab contains uh, formatting tools to change the color of your font, the size of your font, the type of font that you would want to use. As you can see, Calibri has been chosen by default. There is Times News Roman and many others, and this is alphabetized, so you can use your scroll bar to move up and down to see the many type fonts that's offered. You can also just click on the arrow to open or close the type font. There's also a paragraph grouping on the home tab and this is where you can set your uh, text to align from the left or you can center your text. There are also tools for bulleting numbering and as you can see when I rest my cursor on each of the little options that's offered you do get keywords that will help you and remind you of what each little tool is for. The insert tab which is to the right of the home tab has many options for inserting a table and it's very easy to insert a table. You would just move your cursor over the little squares to form the size table that you would need. And as you can see on the body of the Word document that the table was changing to the sizes. And then when you found the size table that you needed, you would just click on that table to actually lock that in. As you can see, this is now locked in. Now I'm going to hit my undo button up in the quick access tool bar to remove that table for the moment. And we're going to go back to the insert tab. You can also insert a picture under this tab, a clip art, charts and hyperlinks. This is also the area where if you needed a header or a footer you would also insert that. You can also insert your page numbers in this area and you would click on page number and then you can choose to place your page number at the top of the page, the bottom of the page, or even within the page bar 
origins and you would actually click on the, the choice that you wanted to lock that choice in. Again you can click on the option to open or close that. The next tab is called the page layout tab and as you can see the different segments there um, is the theme tab, the page setup tab, this is where you could choose your margins if you wanted to use a narrow uh, margin you could choose that and there's also the Office 2003 default which had the top and bottom at one inch margin and the left and right at an inch and a quarter you would also choose your orientation under the page layout tab such as portrait or landscape also columns if you wanted a more newspaper feel to your word document you could choose one two three and so on columns you can also choose page borders a page color under the page background segment Going back up to the top of the ribbon, I'm going to choose the Reference tab. And under this tab, if you wanted to include a table of contents, you could within your document. You would also could uh, choose the footnotes to insert them, a citation, bibliography, or you can also choose to insert a caption for your photos or your graphics. I'm not going to go into great depth over each of these tabs, but I do want you to see what each of these can offer. Um, if you want to set up creating envelopes and labels, you can also do this under the mailing tabs. And then do the review tab. This is a great tab to check your spelling and grammar. Or if you needed a thesaurus. And by clicking on the thesaurus, you can see that a panel will open up on the right side of your document. And you could type in a particular word. And click the go button get different choices for such as I typed in the word tool, you have device, utensil, gizmo, instrument. Very handy tools under the review tab. Uh, there's also a word count feature which helps you uh, by counting all the words with or without spaces, paragraphs, characters within your document. And you can see within the document that I've already created, um, at this point, in one page, one word, lines. This is very handy for the students in school, college who need to write a 500 word essay. No longer do you need to sit there and count each word. The view tab is for offering different views on your document. Uh, by default, the view is always on a print layout view, as it is here, you can see. Just as it would print, this is how you are viewing it. A full screen reading actually offers a, uh, a left and right area, such as what you see here. You can see page one and page two on the right, and then so it would continue. You can see then you would just click to view the next screen of page three and page four, and so on. And you could just click the arrows to go back and forth. To close this particular viewing screen, you would hit the close button, and you would be back to your regular print layout. I'm going to 
use the scroll bar and move it back up to the top. Under the view tab you can also use your zoom tools to zoom in and out of your document. Again by default it is set at 100%. If you needed to view that a little bit closer you could choose 200% by clicking in the radio button or you could use the up and down arrows. and choose the percentage that you needed that would help you view a little bit better. 200% I'm going to choose 200% and then click OK and as you can see you can now zoom in on your document. In the next section we will cover the customize the quick access toolbar. We will look at the backstage view under the file tab. And we'll also take a look at the zoom controls on the bottom right of the status bar and also the view buttons that can be found on the status bar as well. And also the page count options found on the status bar.